Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are exploring one more new thing in SCPS for HANA sourcing and procurement. So in SCPS for HANA, SCP has introduced a new material type for the service procurement along with the product type. So we are going to be exploring which material type has introduced newly and what is exactly that product type group here. Okay. So in our ECC uh, for the services, we are using the D E I N material type for the services. But in S4 HANA, SCP has introduced a new material type that is your S E R V. So by using that S E R V material type, we should create our services. Okay. And one more new thing that is your product type group. Okay. So what is the main reason behind to introduce this product type group that we are going to be discuss here. So first let's check about the new material type. So let's jump into the configuration OMS2 where we can uh, check the newly introduced material type which is given by the SAP that is your SERV. So this is our service material type which is given by the SAP. So by using that we can create a service material and along with the product type group as a two. So there are the two product types which is mainly introduced as a new. Okay. One is for the material that is your for stock procurement process and second product type group is a service. Okay. So this is mainly introduced for to differentiate the service procurement and a stock procurement. So this is the reason they have introduced these two different product type group. So this product type group, we can select manually while creating the purchase equation or a purchase order. Otherwise, during the material master creation or during the material type configuration, we can set it here as well. So here you can see for the service, the product type group set it as this two. Okay. So this will be automatically flow into the purchase requisition or a purchase order, whatever the materials we are going to be creating by using this SERV. So let's create uh, one uh, material by using the serve material type. Okay. And uh, again, one more thing for the standard stock raw material. Okay. So that is your ROH. We can select that ROH material type and there also we can check what is the product type group. So as I mentioned, there are two important product type groups are there. Material this is for the stock procurement process and second for your services. That is the service product type group. We can select manually as well as automatically also we can set at your material type level. So let's create one material by using the SCRV material type, which is mainly used for your lean service procurement and differentiate that we can use the product type group which procurement process is there is a service is for the stock procurement process so let's create one material by using that scrv okay so that uh, material has only basic data then purchasing data and account here there is no any storage location has given for this newly introduced scrv material type okay so we have to select plant and our uh, then we have to select whatever the services we are going to do. There is one type of the service we can create here. Okay. There is no any storage location view is available as this is the service. Okay. We have to save this service here. Okay. So this is your service we have created. So let's convert or try to create a service purchase order and we'll check how this product type group automatically flow while purchase order. M21N, we can just go. Okay, for the service purchase order, we have to 
select account assignment category. That is your key. Correct. After that, what I have mentioned here, not required to select the item category because because of that service material. So whatever the new material we have defined with the SCRV, that we have to select here. That is our painting, correct? So this is we have created by using the SCRV material type. Okay, so not required to select this storage location. We have to just select the quantity and that net price of that material. Okay, so this is your service purchase order we have created. So where to check that product type group? Go to the material data. There, automatically, this product type group will be coming as a two because of the service procurement process, or this is the service PO. Okay, so this is majorly impact while entering the service industry. It is going to be differentiating the type of the procurement. It's a service or your regular procurement process. So this is the service. Let's again create uh, one uh, standard purchase order. Okay. So for the stock procurement, which product type group will be coming? That we can check here. This is the standard purchase order for this stock procurement process. Here, under the material data for this stock procurement, this product type group will be coming as a one because this is for the material. So this is how we can differentiate the procurement, which is the service view or that is your stock procurement process. One is for the material, second is for your services. This is the main purpose to introduce this product type group in SAP S4 HANA sourcing and procurement. Hope you guys understood. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, here. If you want to understand and to learn the new interesting thing in SAP S4 HANA sourcing and procurement, please like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel and visit our website www.taxskills.com and please register. Thank you.